You tackle a big home improvement project. They wanted a new kitchen. Instead, the couple says they got a year mm. of misery. So they contacted News 6 investigator Mike DeForest. And Mike, the contractor has not finished the job yet? Uh, that's right. Nearly one year after the kitchen renovation began, the contractor himself admits it's still incomplete. And as I discovered, he's not licensed. Now keep in mind, someone who installs cabinets or tile, for example, does not need state certification. But if the job involves electrical work or plumbing, that's a different story. Take a look at the gap. Up when Rick and Gabrielle Street wanted to update the kitchen in their Port Orange home, they looked for a contractor who could do all the work at once. So they turned to East Coast Countertops and its owner, Chuck Ogden. Soup to nuts, everything he was going to take care of. Besides installing new floor tile and cabinets, the written contract indicates the job would include electrical and plumbing. According to the streets, the kitchen contractor was supposed to hang new lights, move outlets, and install a new sink. So he was going to do the plumbing work as well? Absolutely. Yes, yes. But Ogden is not licensed to do plumbing or electrical work, according to the state, and he's not a licensed general contractor either. Hey, please, Mr. Ogden, no contest. Just last week, Ogden pleaded no contest to doing unlicensed contracting work in a different renovation job. In that case, the homeowner also claimed that Ogden refused to provide the cabinets that were paid for. I feel violated. The streets claim they also paid Ogden for materials that he never delivered, including the countertops and sink, valued at more than $8,000. We had no kitchen sink for months and months and months. They eventually had to hire a different company to purchase and install them at an additional cost. Hey, Mr. Ogden, I'm Mike with Channel 6. I spoke to you before about Rick Street's matter. Can we talk to you about what uh, Rick Street's job? He told me no comment. Your attorney told you not to comment yeah. about it? Okay. Ogden declined to speak with us, but in an email to News 6, he wrote, I did 85% of his job, and once I'm paid the balance, I'll finish the rest. He walked off with a lot of money. The streets say they've already paid Ogden $43,000 and only owe him a small amount more. According to the contract, their final payment is due after Ogden completes the job. Basically, I couldn't have felt worse if he came in and robbed us. We just really thought he was a nice guy. Now, Chuck Ogden has not been charged with breaking any contracting laws related to the street's kitchen renovation, but the couple says they will be filing complaints with Florida's licensing agency as well as with the attorney general's office. Right now, they just want to warn others about their experience. I cannot wow. imagine not using my kitchen for a year. And that has to be miserable. $43,000, wow. That, that is a lot of money. So, Mike, how can we protect ourselves from keeping this from happening to us? Well, if, if you're hiring someone to do major construction work, say electrical, plumbing, air conditioning, they must have a state certification. I've posted a link on our website, clickorlando.com, where you can search those state licenses. Uh, just look for this story there. My goodness, I hope they get that job completed sometime soon. It's a Me lot too. of misery. Almost Almost done. Done. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Mike.